One Denver council member is hoping a reformed felon's second chance will improve his district. Albus Brooks has hired a former gang member who has transformed his life to be a new community liaison. Stan Bush shows us the new hire sees his home in a whole new light now. This neighborhood was once considered one of the most dangerous in the state, an area in North Denver consumed by gangs and crime. Now, a former gang member is trying to change that image and save its culture. 20 years ago, could you have ever pictured yourself in this position? <laughs> Not even a little bit. In November of 1998, Jonathan McMillan was on the fast track to prison, convicted of felony car theft and accessory to a non-injury shooting. He was sentenced to three years after being connected to gang activity in the Park Hill neighborhood for nearly a decade. That whole time period was not a time that I was very proud of. Six months into his term, he had a life-changing moment in the prison's day room. I looked at some of the older guys who were in jail or were in prison and realized that a lot of them had spent most of their adult life locked up, and if I didn't do something differently, I was going to be just like them. He was released after 26 months and began the long trek to rebuild his life, breaking his ties to gangs and working with the community in schools, churches, any venue that would let him share his story. I'm going to be a person that helps other young men avoid the road that I went down. His work caught the eye of Denver Councilman Albus Brooks. After a stint working for the city's gang resistance program, Brooks tapped McMillan to be his community affairs liaison. His mission now, to improve the neighborhood gangs once ran roughshod over. How did I get this job? Um, serendipity. <laughs> McMillan says he's trying to protect what's left of the neighborhood he grew up in, calling gentrification now the greatest risk. In five points, Stan Bush covering Colorado first.